I was a bit of a neurotic kid growing up. When my parents would go out, I would worry about their safety. When I figured they should have been home by now, I would really get scared and I spilled my guts out to God. I would beg him to bring my parents home safely, and in return I promised to do some, some new good deed. Often my parents would arrive very shortly after my prayer, and I felt manipulated. I thought to myself, but I knew he read my thoughts. God knew all along that my parents were about to arrive, and he stalled them to get a better deal out of me. Begging and bargaining was a big part of my dialogue with God, until one day I finally mustered up the courage to deny God. But even when I stopped believing in God, I nonetheless feared him. My neighbor Jen told me she met God in the bathroom when she was a little girl. I can't even remember what I did wrong, she said. All I recall is my mother running after me, screaming, You bad girl, God's going to punish you. So I took refuge in the bathroom and locked the door. My mother banged on the door and yelled, Come out, you bad girl, God's going to punish you. So I responded, No, he's not, because I'm in the bathroom and he can't get me here. At this, my mother said, You silly kid, God's everywhere, even in the bathroom. I was happy when Jen proudly declared that she no longer believes in God. Thank God for atheism. Better to believe in no God than to believe in a God who's out to get little girls in the bathroom. I tell atheists, the God you don't believe in, I don't believe in either. If you think God is out to get you, you've got the wrong God and the wrong you. God is not out to get you. God is out to give you. God loves us with the very same unconditional love he loves himself because God is one. There is none but him and we are a part of him. If God were the sun, we'd be rays of his light.